Well, we take a look at what happened yesterday, or didn't happen, rather, and we've got even cooler, drier air moving in for the next couple of days. Next chance of rain and a dry-looking weekend ahead. So luckily, the storms didn't develop for uh, southern Minnesota because we don't need any more rain there. Nobody really needs it, but especially uh, southern Minnesota lately. We did have some swaths of heavier rain in northwestern Minnesota, but most of it in Wisconsin had erupted really right on the edge of the cap yesterday evening once the uh, storms did fire up. So a cap is warm air in the middle of the atmosphere, about 10,000 feet up yesterday, eight to 10,000 feet up. Temperatures were just very warm so that anything rising from the surface wasn't able to get through that until we had a bit of a trigger mechanism in the form of the low level jet. So this is what the sounding looked like, the weather balloon data from the evening. You can see this is the temperature profile, it's cooling, 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 and then this big bulge here is that layer of warm air that storms just couldn't get through. So caps originate from the desert areas in the west or southwest, and that's why it's usually elevated at that eight to 10,000 foot uh, area because it's coming from Utah or Nevada or New Mexico usually. So once that low level jet accelerated, it does as the sun sets, as it gets darker and things start to cool off, that's when the storms erupted uh, just north and east of the Twin Cities into northwestern Wisconsin. There's no shortage of energy, plenty of warmth. Uh, heat indices were in the 100 uh, range in southwestern Minnesota. Temperatures reached the low 90s in southwestern Minnesota and the dew points were certainly soupy. Highest dew point I saw was in St. James in south central Minnesota. 84 for the dew point temperature. That's incredible amounts of moisture, just about as high as it gets ever in Minnesota. 72 was the peak dew point in the Twin Cities for a little perspective. And it's really exponential as you get into those higher dew points. So we'll continue to see the dew points drop through the day today into tomorrow as drier air flows in. Still warm though, in, in the 80s here across southern Minnesota, 70s to the north. But we have a secondary cool front coming in uh, out of Canada that'll be diving south tonight and could touch off a few showers. So it's really just a massive cloud cover running into this more muggy air across Minnesota and kind of a clipper system uh, with that diving south. So we will see an increase in cloud cover overnight tonight and a few showers out there, but rainfall amounts are gonna be pretty light and these will be very widely scattered. A couple of lingering showers for Southern Minnesota yet this afternoon. And then here comes that overnight activity maybe creating some thunderstorms in Nebraska and Iowa, but it's really just gonna be a few widely scattered light showers for us in Minnesota. And it will be cooler tomorrow in addition to drier air. Uh, probably just upper 70s for highs in the Twin Cities, upper 60s even in northern Minnesota, and that kind of sets the stage for a cooler pattern into the weekend too. Next system brings more rain and thunderstorms Thursday night into Friday, but we'll get that out of here in time for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday look dry for most of us before the next chance of some thunder arrives here uh, on Monday, which is already July 1st, if you can believe it. As far as additional rainfall this week, generally under an inch, so that's some good news. Uh, about an inch or so maybe along the international border, but there could be some locally heavier amounts if we get some of these thunderstorms. And we're at a stage here with the rivers cresting that any bit of rainfall could be problematic if it hits the wrong area at the wrong time. Mississippi, Minnesota River is all cresting here. Minnesota River at Henderson broke its record today by a couple of inches. So still warm, muggy today. Dew points dropping. Uh, a few of those overnight and early morning showers tomorrow might start the day with a few clouds or a sprinkle Wednesday, but then most of the day pretty nice. Partly cloudy, 77 degrees. Most of Thursday should be dry in the Twin Cities too, with the showers starting to develop off to the west. But Thursday night into Friday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Definitely not an all-day rainfall, but there will be showers and a few thunderstorms around Friday. But again, moving out of here for the weekend, but only low 70s for high Saturday and Sunday. That's about 10 degrees, cooler than the normal here for the last weekend of June.